All right, so in this video, we are going to be solving a Yusuko bronze problem. This is from the 2015 December contest, the bronze one, and this is problem one. So in the STEM problem solving walkthrough, we are going to be doing a detailed walkthrough of the fence painting Yusuko problem, and I'll just sort of solve this as we're going along and explain my solution. So let's read the problem. Several seasons of hot summers and cold winters have taken a toll on Farmer John's fence. Okay. So basically we're painting a fence. So we're regarding the fence as a one-dimensional number line. And so the farmer is going to paint the interval between x equals a and x equals b. So x could be 3 and then b or a could be 3 and b could be 5 and then farmer john wants okay so it's basically an interval so 3 to 5 that's just an interval of length 2 so if we were to go to 3 to 8 that's an interval interval of length 5 so it's just b minus a so so bessie misunderstands the farmer's instructions and paints x c x equals c to x equals d which may possibly overlap so maybe it won't overlap please determine the total length of the fence okay so we're going to read the input and output so seven so the first line is the a and b which is the farmer and the second line is what the cow paints and the sample out was six four to six. Oh, okay so essentially what we're doing here is let me my thoughts down so essentially what we're doing is if we imagine this is a one-dimensional number line as they're telling us in the problem let's say just something like three four five eight nine ten put two over here okay so basically what the farmer is going to do is going to paint three to five but then Bessie, the, the cow, can just go from four to some six, maybe. And we want to know the total number, which is covered by paint. So, well, to do this, we just subtract the maximum. So, we want the biggest number minus the smallest number. And that's what we're going to write in our program. So, so basically, the farmer. I'm going to do this. And then Bessie, go from here to here, and that's that. That's the cow, which will paint that much. So the total number will be three to six because both of them will be pa okay. All right. So we're gonna keep this. Okay, so it's just the greatest minus the smallest. Okay. All right. So we're gonna hop into Replit here. All right. You're going to include bits slash sdd c plus plus dot h. And if you don't know, this is the standard C plus plus library that people use for use code and other competitive programming contest. Int main. All right. So first, we want some variables. E, in, D. All right, so that's A, B, C, and D, and we're taking input. What's the input format? So okay, so it's A and B on one line, C and D on the other. So that's just that's just sin. Yeah, that's sin A, and then B, and sin C, and then D. So that's our input format and okay so we're going from the okay okay so this is just going to be you know, have an output of so we want the lot okay so this is just max okay so max and then we need curly braces e c d all right minus min a b c d 
window. Okay, so I think this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna test the sample input and output first, and then we're just going to see. So I'm gonna do seven and ten, and then four and eight, and we get six. Okay. So that test case is working. Let's try a few more test cases to see if this problem is working. So eight and three to five. All right, so the program is working so far. Input. Yeah, so if we imagine this as a one dimensional number line, what's really happening is What's really happening is first, you start off with a number line. First, let's say the farmer starts over here at point A and goes all the way to a point over here, point E. But then the cow misunderstands and does from B to some point here point X and essentially what's being painted is everything from a to X which is X minus a and X X being greater than everything else in the number line so basically that's how our program should work all right so yeah with the use of problems um let me know down in the comment section if you guys got any other solutions but yeah, that's my solution for the 2015 Yusuko Bronze Problem 1 fence painting.